Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to delete UEFI boot option from the BIOS boot manager. Before we begin, let's quickly understand why user might want to delete a boot option. Number 1. Sometimes when you install a new operating system or make changes to your storage drive, you might end up with multiple boot options in your BIOS boot manager. This can clutter things up and make it harder to boot into operating system you want. Number 2. If you have previously installed multiple operating system on your computer, you might want to remove the boot options associated with the ones you no longer use or have uninstalled. This helps to declutter the boot menu and streamline the boot process. Number 3. Over time as you make changes to your system or update your operating system, additional boot options may appear in the BIOS boot manager. Deleting unnecessary options can help keep your system organized and prevent confusion during boot up. And number 4. In some cases, having unsure or unnecessary boot option can cause security risk. Removing this option can help mitigate the risk of unauthorized access to your system. However, here I'll show you three methods that can surely help to delete UEFI boot option from BIOS boot manager. At first, let's start with the easy method. The first step is to access your computer BIOS settings. So restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS by pressing the BIOS key during boot process. The key you may need to press may depending on your computer's manufacturer. Some common BIOS keys are F2, F10 or Delete. Once you are in your BIOS settings, navigate to the Boot Options or Boot Manager section or Boot Sequence or Security. Note, the exact location of these settings may vary depending on your motherboard manufacturer. Now select Erase All Secure Boot Settings option or you will need to select the UEFI boot option that you want to delete. This might be labeled with the name of the operating system or the storage device. Now select Yes to confirm or select delete boot option. Please note the exact wording may vary depending on your BIOS interface. Once you have found the option to delete, confirm your selection. Now go to exit menu and select save and exit option to save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS. And the UEFI boot option will be removed from the BIOS boot manager. Now check once UEFI boot option should no longer appear in the BIOS boot manager. If the UEFI boot option is not removed, then open any internet browser and search for the Visual VCD Editor. Now click on this official link to download Visual VCD Editor. Visual VCD Editor is a powerful tool for managing the Windows boot configuration data or VCD which includes information about your system boot's environment. Now scroll down and download this newer version of Visual VCD Editor from here. Once downloaded, just simply install it on your computer. Once installed, launch the Visual VCD on your Windows system. Next, we need to locate the UEFI boot entries that we want to delete. Visual VCD Editor provides a user-friendly interface for viewing and editing the VCD store. Ok, now navigate to the loader section. Here you will see a list of boot entries, including UEFI entries that we want to delete. Now let's delete the unwanted boot options. Simply right click on the entry you want to remove and select delete selected object from the context menu. Confirm the deletion by click on OK. And the UEFI boot option will be removed from the VCD store. Now close the visual VCD editor. Now check once by rebooting and go to your BIOS boot manager. The unwanted UEFI boot option should no longer appear in the BIOS boot manager.
Well, as you can see that unwanted UEFI boot option have been successfully removed. If not solved, then simply search for CMD in your Windows search bar. Right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. Once command prompt is open, type disk part and hit enter. This will launch the disk part utility which allows us to manage disk and partitions. Next type list disk and press enter. This will display a list of all disks connected to your system. Now identify the boot disk containing the UEFI boot option you want to delete. Type cell disk your boot disk number and press enter. Now type list part and hit enter. This command will show all the partitions on the selected disk. Now carefully identify the UEFI system partition associated with the UEFI boot option you want to remove. Type select part your UEFI partition number and press enter. Now you will need to assign a temporary drive letter for your UEFI system partition. You can choose any available letter under M to Z. Type assign letter equals to your assigned drive letter and hit enter. Now type exit and press enter to exit from the disk part. Now navigate to the EFI partition. In the command prompt, type your assigned drive letter with colon and press enter. Now you will need to enter the EFI folder by typing cd EFI and hitting enter. Now type dir and press enter to view the UEFI boot entries. Then you will see a list of boot entries including all the unwanted boot entries that we want to delete such as our old Ubuntu boot entry and this old firmware update payload. To delete the unwanted UEFI boot entry type rmdir space forward slash s your UEFI boot entry folder name which you want to delete and press enter. Now type Y for yes and hit enter to confirm. Repeat the process with all your unwanted UEFI boot entries. Just replace the boot entry folder name with the name of the folder corresponding to your boot entry you want to delete. Type Y for yes and hit enter to confirm. To verify the deletion, type dir and press enter. Ok, as you can see, our old unwanted UEFI boot options have been successfully removed. That's it, you have successfully deleted the unwanted UEFI boot entries from the boot manager. Now restart your system to ensure the changes take effect. Ok, now let me show you by going to my PC's BIOS boot manager. Alright, as you can see that all unwanted UEFI boot options have been successfully removed. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.